presentation of the horizontal cabling and of a telecommunication room. Take a few uh, minutes to study this slide. The standards call for the following minimal performance uh, when dealing with unshielded twisted pair uh, that has a 100 ohm impedance. For category three, we only use category three for voice applications uh, and, so, uh, and, and, and support them up to frequencies of 16 megahertz. Category 5E is used for both, vo both voice and data applications up to 100 megahertz, and category six, uh, 100 ohm UTP, is used for voice and data applications up to 250 megahertz. Also note, note the uh, color coding of the uh, eight, uh, uh, eight wires or four twisted pair. Certification and performance testing of category 5E and category 6 copper UTP cable involves sophisticated, uh, involves sophisticated cable testing instruments to perform the following tests. First, wire map wire map to check connections. Then length, attenuation, near-end crosstalk are called next, propagation delay, delay skew, equal level uh, far-end crosstalk, power sum, equal level far-end crosstalk, return loss, and attenuation to, to, uh, to crosstalk uh, ratio, or ACR. Power sum a ACR is, is the ultimate and best method of performance uh, indicating the capability of cabling uh, systems. Note that the cable performance must operate between the power sum near end crosstalk curve and the attenuation curve, curve and that it is also a function of, of, of frequency. Now let's take a quick look at optical fiber cable, especially the benefits compared to copper. These benefits include, first note that two strands of fiber, one for transmission and one for receiving, typically carry somewhere between, uh, between several and, and as much as 20,000 two-way two voice conversations in the long haul power uh, PSTN network. That is the equivalent of about 40 uh, or 50 400 pair copper cable. Other features uh, of fiber compared to copper cable include long distance signal transmission, large bandwidth, lightweight and small diameter, non-conductivity, security, and they are designed for future application de uh, uh, needs. This slide shows how optical fiber is constructed. First, the core is the central region of an optical fiber through which light is transmitted. The cladding is the material surrounding the core of an optical waveguide. The cladding must have a lower index of refraction to keep the light in the core. The coating is the material put on a fiber during the draw process to protect it from environment and handling. Now, single mode fiber is an optical waveguide or core fiber in which the signal travels in one mode or one light path or in one light ray. The fiber has a small core design, typically uh, 8.3 uh, uh, nanometers. Multimode fiber is an optical waveguide in which light travels in multiple uh, paths, rays, or modes. Typical core cladding size measured in micrometers is 62.5 microns. The cladding on both single mode and multimode is 125 micron diameter. Fibers can be either buffered or unbuffered. Coax cable is a well-designed cable often used for video applications because it can handle a huge range of frequencies. The standards call for RG6 quad shield coax that has an impedance of 75 ohms in video applications. Coax cable consists of a central steel core uh, flashed with copper surrounded by a foam insulator, a braided metal foil braided pair, and an 
outer plastic cover called a sheath. Quad shield cable has, has two pair of foil braiding. The copper core carries a signal and the foil braiding acts as both a shield against noise and a ground for the signal. The insulator layer protects the copper core from the metal shielding. The shielding protects the cable from physical damage. F connectors are, are used uh, with coax cable. Residential cable or smart homes is becoming a hot area of network cabling. In addition to data, voice, and video, it now includes surround sound, security cameras, fire detection, low voltage lighting, and much more. TIA EIA 570A, which is soon to be updated to uh, 570B, uh, is the standard that governs residential and small commercial building telecommunication cabling. Also note that uh, many of the uh, link li uh, limits and channel limits and basic topology is similar to the standards that govern uh, the um, uh, commercial building applications. Finally, here is a peek at the future of telecommunication cabling with, uh, with common speeds of, of gig, 10 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig, Ethernet in the LAN, campus, MAN, and WAN. In summary, uh, we have discussed that along with active electronics, the passive cabling is the other key part of a network. Telecommunications cabling standards that are key to designing, installing, and testing telecommunications cabling, and TIA EIA 568B is the mother of all the standards. The six subsystems of a structured cabling infrastructure include the entrance facility, the equipment room, the backbone cabling, telecommunications room, horizontal cabling, and work area. And lastly, the primary cabling media is uh, unshielded twisted pair, four, uh, four twisted pair, 100 ohm copper, multi-mode and single mode, two strand optical fiber, and RG6 quad shield uh, coax cable. This completes module eight. Please take quiz eight, and I'll see you in module nine, wireless transmission and services.